Hello guys, welcome back to Vantelay. You are not going to be happy with the news I'm about to tell you. Guess what? Absolutely got destroyed. Right, look at that. This guy creeped in at the last second to get up to 425,726. And I wasn't able to crack the next level, which means I wasn't going to be able to get that W, E regardless of what I was going to try. So guys, this is by far probably the worst I have done in, I don't even remember how many videos, probably even, it could actually be the worst guys. And so guys, even the best of us, we fail and we cannot deliver. It is a little bit unfortunate guys, and I think timing was uh, key. I really wanted to have an early night, so I didn't wait up. I decided, hey, let me smack this thing out and get it out of the way because I know it was gonna be busy. And guess what? I caught the L, and this is how it happens, guys. I am fourth, and I wasn't able to finish it. So guys, at the end of the day, you need to learn and pick your timing. I know there has been a huge change when it comes to um, how they match abyssal, oh, sorry, how they match tournaments and stuff. I know there has been a bit of a change. I haven't fully got my head around it just yet. However, guys, being fourth, it is what it is. It's not the worst. It is definitely not the best. And I am very disappointed. I'm gonna be honest with you. When I saw that I was gonna come third, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a horrible video. And next minute, I am fourth. And so, guys, it is what it is, right? Um, what can I say? Do better, find a better opportunity. Don't get roped in the same situation again and make sure you get that W in the future. And that is what I have to learn. And that is what some of you will have to learn when it comes to the timing of wherever you guys are at and make sure you get the best out of it. All right, guys, look, there's nothing huge happening. Abyssal Tournament, it looks like it's gonna start in nine hours, which is on the Friday morning here in Australia. However, actually, no, it'll be at 10 a.m. Friday in Australia. So wherever that is in America, maybe it's 12 p.m. is when it begins. Uh, however, at the end of the day, guys, you gotta time that one just as well as the others. And I believe there should be one more event towards the end of Transcendence. So I can see one coming on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not too sure when, but I'm pretty sure it comes on a Tuesday and that will be a great event to now start thinking ahead of time. All right, a lot of people have been asking why do I have so much diamonds, 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 diamonds. Guys, you gotta save it for rainy day. You can't just use it all up, right? If you use it all up, whenever anything new comes around, you're not gonna be able to win it. You're not gonna be able to uh, capitalize on it. You definitely won't be able to get that W when it comes to the events. So you gotta pick it carefully use it carefully and make sure you use it wisely because that is by far the most heavy currency you can have and one of the most difficult currency you can get and so you want to use it wisely that's all i have to say how you choose to use it what works for you and what works for me is going to be different because it's a multi-layered question it's almost like saying hey is clanship better than uh, pet bill well some people would say yes yeah, some people would say no some people would like playing it more so there's so many facets to the game that you have to think about all right and a lot of you that are a lot more um how should i say newer to the game you always ask you know hey i'm stuck here what can i do i'm stuck here what can i do i'm stuck here what can i do the very simple answer that you do not want to hear is prestige more literally that's it you just gotta outpace people at some point when it comes to some of these tournaments where you can do 99 prestiges i have done the 99 prestige and that was when i was on holiday and it was bloody difficult guys i'm telling you it's an all day ordeal and i was able to run just under two minutes per prestige that was back then before they nerfed clanship and i was able to do two minute prestiges and even then it was so bloody rough to get to 99 prestige and you know what it's possible but you can do it but do you really want to burn out that's a whole different story to to get into right so guys very simple prestige more be consistent do not just drop out do 10 say do 30 prestige in one day and the next day do two and then the following day another 
20 and then another day you'll be one and another two don't do that all right so you got to make sure you be consistent you're around to do 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 over that you get 70 in a week and slowly progress your way up then for you to just burn out so you need to find your spot get where it's good for you and work out something that's, that works best for you sometimes when i have a very busy schedule when it comes to work all i have to do is every 30 to 40 minutes i open the app prestige it close the damn app all right go back to work 30 40 minutes open the app prestige go back to work all right and throughout that i should be able to do because I, obviously i have a full-time job and so with that by the end of say 5 p.m i should be able to prestige at least six to seven to eight times depending if i'm doing anything and when it comes to lunch breaks you can also do that as well so make sure you be consistent when it comes to your breaks uh when it comes to your prestigious do not let that off all right that's it for me guys i'll see you tomorrow at the abyssal tournament i'll catch you all later then drop a like drop a subscribe and i'll see you soon guys bye bye